Kamoso Valley Guard, Tactics HD EC. How's it going, guys? Tactics HD here, and as you can see by the title, we're gonna find out how good a French Canadian team is in NHL 21. I figured we'd do this in honor of Montreal Canadiens making the Stanley Cup final, and honestly, it's something I've actually wondered before. Surprised I've never made a video on it. So uh, for the custom team, I'm basically just gonna be using the Quebec Nordiques logo and jerseys. I have two different logos there, two different shades of blue, and the reason being is, as you guys will see here at the home jersey. Uh, if you use the same shade of blue, you actually really can't make up the logo, so use a lighter shade of blue there. Uh, if you guys are curious how to make this on your own, the jersey style I used was 23. After that, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, white bottom on the jersey as well as the sleeves, double white stripes on the socks and pants, uh, right around the numbers. Other than that, you know, I think it's pretty easy to do. I believe the way is the exact same thing, just alternate colors there. And I feel like if you compare these jerseys to real life, I did a decent job. Right there, of course, you can see the home. And then right there's a way. Again, like I think these, you know, are pretty spot on, but as close as you can get. An alternate here, I went kind of crazy with. I decided to use like the Avalanche jersey template. Black was the main color. Um, I decided to go with like French flag colors for the socks. You have obviously you have to turn the flag on the side. We just wanted to try something new essentially. I'm not really sure if I even like it, but like I said, just wanted to be different. Also, if you guys plan on making this team in game two, for some reason Nordiques is not a play-by-play -play team name. The closest thing there is Nordic Blizzard. I actually went with Frontenac as I learned Frontenac is like a French soldier, so I felt like it kind of applied. Uh, the rest of that though you can do, so. Uh, pretty much you can make Quebec Nordiques in game, which is cool to see. So for this video guys, we're gonna start with the Detroit Red Wings. It hurts me if they're my favorite team, but they're the lowest rated team in the Atlantic Division, tied with the Sanders. And I feel like, you know, the Sanders are kind of a French team, like, you know, they're on the border. I think they're a bilingual team. So I want to keep them in there. And of course, uh, Quebec has to be in the same division as Montreal, as well as the other Canadian teams, Toronto and Ottawa. So uh, Quebec Nordiques here. Arena, of course, is the Colisee Pepsi. Top players, Jonathan Huberdeau, Patrice Bergeron, Marc-Andre Fleury. And as you guys are about to see, they got some other really good players. Uh, so we'll get to the division realignment here. You guys can see their overall. 92 actually ties them with the Tampa Bay Lightning. So uh, they're not the best team in the league, but they are tied with the best team in the league, which is definitely saying something. All right, guys, so next year I want to show you what this team's roster is looking like. Also, if you guys didn't notice, I've actually got the Nordiques t-shirt on. I think I forgot to mention that earlier on. Team stats there is Bayer. Obviously, we're tied with Tampa for best team in the league. So first line there, you got Huberdeau, Plant, Bergeron, and Mantha getting a plus one. Pretty sick first line. Marteau, Dubois, and Perron get a plus three on the second line. We then have Beaulieu, Deneau, and Duran on the third line. No chemistry boost, but still a pretty solid third line. Fourth line there, Maxime Comtois, Yanni Gord, and Alexis Lafreniere get a plus three. So pretty nasty forward group, I'd say. Defensively, you got Shabbat and Latang on the top pair, which is real solid. Savard and Gerard there on the second. Second, and then Vlasic and Demers on the bottom pair. Surprise, actually, Savard and Gerard don't get more than a plus one. You got the offensive defenseman, the defensive defenseman, but uh, still a solid D, solid offense. Goaltending, Fleury, of course, is our starter. Jonathan Bernier there backing him up. Um, in terms of special teams, the chemistry actually worked out really well. Uh, so the first power play only gets a plus one, but it's like literally three best forwards, two best defensemen. And the second unit there gets a plus three, so that's really going to help them out in playing well. The four-man power play, no boost for either, but I think it looks good. The penalty kill, you can see we get a plus three on both. Now, I could make one change here, which is Shabbat for Vlasic, and we'll actually get a plus five on the first unit, plus one on the second. But I feel like the PKs probably get used the same amount, especially if, you know, Bergeron and Shabbat are both tired, then the second it's definitely going to go out, so I like this a little bit better. And the three-man here you can see is a zero and a plus one. Definitely helps we have both the No and Bergeron, like two of the best two-way centers in the game. With a solid defense, flurry and net, I feel like we should have a pretty low goals against. Also, to have some players who didn't quite make the cut for the NHL team, so in the AHL here, our top six, Duclair, Stastny, Blyce, Chason, Broussard, and Perot are all French-Canadian players. I know Chason, when he got traded to Ottawa, all of a sudden his last name was like Chiasson. I'm not sure if that was a joke or like that was serious, but I've always thought that was funny. Uh, defensively here, Scandella, Matheson, a couple more French-Canadians for the top D pair, as well as Louis Domingue starting in net. So like half the AHL team almost is uh, French-Canadians that just didn't make the NHL team. Uh, next year, I actually want to show you guys overalls here, offense, defense, goaltending. Should also show you the captaincy too. So of course I've got Bergeron wearing the C. I think he's actually the only captain that's on this team. Like no other player is a captain for their team. Didn't know I gave an A too because I figured he plays on Montreal. They're going to the cup final. I gotta give him an A. And then I get the other A to Shabbat. As like I mentioned, Ottawa's actually another bilingual team. So I figured I'd recognize that. Sim some preseason games already. We're 1-3-1 which isn't great. Bergeron's a point per game. Usually the preseason doesn't matter too much though. Uh, so we'll match up here with Montreal. Let's see here. That's Huberdeau that they're showing. 
96 offense, 92 defense, 90 gold, 10. I think that's pretty solid. You guys want to kind of see their jerseys in game on an actual player there in Cooper Doe, the away, the alternate again. I'm not really sure about the alternate, but like I said, I was just having some fun with it. So we'll get started with the Sim now. This team should at least make the playoffs, but let's see what happens. All right, guys, we're at the deadline here. Records 34, 25, and 3. So the team's doing good, but not doing great, which is what I expected. I figured, you know, they'd be competing for the President's Trophy. The Lightning, that's basically how I thought they'd be doing. 87 points, they're winning the division. Canadians, 78, are doing better than us. Maple Leafs, 77, Nordique, 71. People always say Montreal focuses, you know, too much on having French-Canadian players, even coaching staff. Uh, this video might be proving just that. Bergeron, though, having a very good season, 59 points there, 62 games, so just under a point per game right now at the deadline. AHL team, Stastny, almost a point per game. The Griffins, they're not even in a playoff spot either. How, or maybe it's just not decided yet. I feel like they got to make the playoffs after making, like, half their team NHL players. And check this out, guys. A pretty big trade just went down. The Winnipeg Jets get Adam Pellick in a third-round pick. Islanders there get a first. Even after I boosted a bunch of the Islanders players, like, they never seen a sim well. It's so strange. Oh my goodness, another blockbuster. Edmonton gets Drew Doughty. They trade a first-round pick, Broberg and Stuart Skinner to the LA Kings. I feel like LA had to retain some salary, because I don't think Edmonton has 11.5 million free, but that'll be interesting for sure to see what happens there. I was right, guys. Look at this. LA retained $4 million in Doughty's contract to make that trade happen. Uh, if any LA fans are watching, let me know what you think about that one. I feel the $4 million retained... The recurring for Doughty should be a bit better than what they got. And we're nothing this season here, guys. We finished with a record of 48, 29, 5. So almost 50 wins, which isn't too bad. 101 points. Third place, though, in the division. The Montreal Canadiens, uh, they were pissed off. They saw, you know, the Nordiques join the NHL. All French Canadian players. And they wanted to prove that uh, they were the best team in Quebec. They actually beat us there by two points. Even the Lightning there, 105. That's pretty crazy to see. Bruins and Maple Leafs also in the playoffs. So this Atlantic division is crazy competitive this year. Bergeron, 85 points, 82 games. Love seeing that over a point per game. Perron there, big year for him, 78. Huberdeau, 76. March, so 75. Dubois, 55. So a bit of a drop-off. Same with Mantha. I feel like playing first line, Mantha's got to do a bit better than that. Shabbat there, about 50 points as a defenseman. Minus 7, though. Duran, 47. Third liner, surprised he actually played that well. I think it's because the offensive stats are still pretty ridiculous, even after I dropped his rating and potential. Uh, Latang there, Janot. Lafreniere there, 35 points his rookie season. Not going to be winning the Calder, unfortunately, but uh, he just kind of fit really well on that fourth line, giving them the plus three. Um, everyone else, I think, you know, did about as you'd expect. Flurry here, 42 and 26. Four shutouts, 0.908, 2.67. Not too bad. Bernier. Stats definitely could be better. I'm pretty sure they're better in real life playing for Detroit, so that's a little bit concerning, I think, for the backup. Stastny, 60, Blaze, Broussard, Duclair, Perot. Like I've said this before, it's so weird how NHL players should kind of dominate the AHL, and I feel like they really don't. They play kind of average in the AHL, which is weird to see. Louis Domingue there, he actually had pretty good stats. Only 35 games played, but 0.92 to 2.12. I actually didn't see with the AHL team in the playoffs, so I'll have to check that after. Entire league here. McKinnon, 123. Well, he went off. Ovechkin there. Malkin, McDavid. Ranton, Crosby, Matthews, Eichel, Goudreau. Goals is Ovechkin there, 59. Let's see, defenseman. Usually Shabbat, like, actually kind of does pretty well. 70 points on Ottawa. I'm not sure why Shabbat couldn't have that many points. Yossi, though, leading there with 89. And looking at rookie skaters here, Lafreniere on the Rangers got 85 over a point per game. That's kind of crazy, because almost always Kaprizov has a better season than him. It's like he saw that there was a clone of him on the Nordiques. He was probably jealous, being from Quebec. He would love to play for the Nordiques, and he decided to just go off this year. Uh, but still, pretty cool to see that. Next, I want to take a look at the standings for the entire league. I'm assuming Tampa, no, Philly, 108. Tampa second, Montreal third. Colorado, who is, of course, who Nordiques became, got fourth. We got fifth, so you got, like, three French teams there, three, four, five. That is pretty cool. Um, anyone gets snubbed? Actually, no snubs. Top 16 all made the playoffs. Last in the NHL was the Devils there with 66 points. I was mentioning goals for, goals against at the beginning of this. So goals for, we got 6th, which isn't too bad. Goals against, we got 5th best. Okay, so yeah, a good team. Um, honestly, I expected them to be a bit better, but I'm not going to complain how they played. The Griffins there might miss the playoffs. I don't know with the HL, it's so hard to tell, but uh, we'll get started with the playoffs next here. Who are we going to play in the first round? The Montreal Canadiens. How perfect is this? All right, so I'll take a look at Montreal, see if Bergevin's made any moves. 
uh, in this sim to Foley, Suzuki, Gallagher on the first line, Perry, Dino, Tatar, Durant, Stahl, Anderson, Armia, Kokinami, Dezingle. Okay, so offense, aside from Dezingle, the exact same. Gustin, Petrie, Weber, Edmondson, Kulak, Sherrod. So yeah, uh, Price, Allen, Annette. Yeah, Dezingle to the offense. Isn't playing Cole Coffield, which is kind of surprising. Uh, Caulfield starts out at like 78, so he must have just not grown at all. Let's see whether or not the Quebec Nordiques featuring all French Canadian players can take out the Stanley Cup Final Montreal Canadiens. First two games, 5-1 loss and a 5-4 loss. Are you kidding me? We're heading home though, Quebec City. And HL team is in the playoffs. Big 7-1 win. Another game at home. 4-2 win. Okay. Um, so game five is in Montreal. And we lose it 3-2. I feel like elimination on the line. Let's sim this thing period by period. 1-0 to tar for them. 3-1. Bergeron, couple from Mantha. Are you kidding me? Dezingle Duran. And <laughs> Nick Suzuki, the hero from Montreal, beats us in OT. So even in-game, Montreal, I guess they finished higher than us. But in terms of like the ratings, uh, they're definitely the lower rated team. And they still upset us there in six games. I probably should have taken a look at the, their overalls. But I know they're lower than us. They were like 86 or something uh, when I was looking at the division. So... That, uh, <laughs> that's insane. Also guys, in case you were wondering, HL team out in the first round too. <laughs> what is going on? Looking at the draft results here, Florida there jumps up from nine to one to pick first overall. You might notice Philadelphia Flyers there won the Stanley Cup. Chris Letang, nine points in six games. Was our playoff scoring leader, which honestly is awesome for a defenseman. Uh, Perron, Hubert Doe. After that, you know, March still's not too bad, Shabbat. I guess Bergeron, three goals, only 3.6 games. You expect a bit more from him. How did Fleury play in that round? 2-2-2, two, two, and two, less than a point nine, three .13. I guess, you know, he got beat out by Price there. Uh, in terms of the playoff tree, after Montreal beat us, they beat the Bruins in five. Then went to seven there with the Philadelphia Flyers. I was really hoping once Montreal beat us, they would went all the way and won the Stanley Cup. Maybe even playing the Avs in the Stanley Cup final. But unfortunately, Avs there got beat by the Oilers in the first round. And then uh, after the Flyers beat the Montreal Canadiens in seven, they also beat the Predators there in seven as well. So Philadelphia won the Stanley Cup and the President's Trophy this year. That's pretty insane. McKinnon, Art Ross, and the Hart. Yossi, James Norris, McKinnon, Lady Bing. Lafreniere with the Calder. JVR, Con Smythe, Vasilevsky, Vesna. Carter Hart, though, got the Leon Jennings. Drummelson, Bill Masterton. Predators coach, Jack Adams. Uh, Riley there, Selkie, McKinnon, Ted Lindsay. And then Ovi, of course, Mitch Richard. So no awards at all for the Quebec Nordiques this year. That definitely hurts to see. Uh, in terms of team awards, I don't think the Griffins got anything individual there. You can see Boldy, Houdon, Newhook, Caulfield did have an uh, outstanding rookie there. But uh, yeah, no awards, NHL team or AHL team. That is rough. So I don't know what to make of that. I guess it was unlucky. We had the exact same overalls as the Tampa Bay Lightning. Played the Montreal Canadiens, which was cool to see. And we lost to them. So even though we didn't go on to win the Stanley Cup, still pretty cool to be knocked out of the playoffs by the Montreal Canadiens. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave that thumbs up. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the sub button. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Au revoir.